place sounds fabulous. Yeah, I'm very excited about it. <laughs> now we're going to go to a Wicked Musicals Wink to San Francisco, past, present, and future. The show is called The SF Follies. It's basically a musical review that pokes fun at everything and everyone in San Francisco. Uh, back in 1995, I actually did the show in San Jose as the San Jose Follies. And for about 13 years, I've been wanting to do something up in San Francisco. So basically wrote and created this show over the last year and a half. And here we are at the Actors Theater now presenting the show for nine weeks. It's a big uh, singing and dancing show that basically makes fun of everyone and everything in San Francisco. 300 years of San Francisco's history. San Francisco, there's so much history of the obvious stuff, the gold rush, the earthquake, hippies, summer of love, beatniks, everything was San Francisco's diversity. So we really wanted to tell a story that was fun and interesting to locals, but also to visitors. So there's a lot of stuff in there that's um, kind of the stuff you would expect, but then there's also a lot of gems for people who live here. People being run over by the Muni, oil spills, rabid sea lions, and we even actually have a naked, uh, naked gold miner. So it's, it's fun and, and pretty out there. Despite the dot-com bust, real estate prices remain the third highest in the nation, just behind Manhattan and Gilroy. <laughs> It's really an energetic show with 15 cast members, and each cast member plays about 10 or 15 different people. There's a lot of music that people will already know. We've actually changed the lyrics, so it's a lot of fun to songs like The Brady Bunch, or songs from the 60s, or songs from the 70s. So the audience can really relate to it, really groove to it, but there's twists and turns along the way to uh, keep it funny and interesting. An artist coined the beat mix by legendary columnist Irv King. The show is fluid, so as things happen in the city, we will add them into the show and keep it current. So it's, it's fun, and you're always going to get something different, depending on when you come. Um, the comedy is very broad, and it's very fun and very flashy, so even if you're from somewhere else, I think you'll still basically get the gist. It's very fast and very funny, and uh, the cast does a great job, and uh, we're really excited to be here. I think people get different reactions based on their age and who they are and if they're local or if they're visitors. Some people, I think, are wowed by how much history there is, but it's not like a history class where it's boring. We actually make it fun. We're getting a lot of people that feel like it's sentimental. I think it's sassy. I think it's sentimental. I think it's sarcastic. So I think there's a lot of that. At the end, we actually have a multimedia piece where we show old images of San Francisco. And for some people that are natives, they're actually getting kind of teary-eyed and they get a different response. Other people who can experience paying high rent, um, all the things, you know, the political things in San Francisco, uh, and Judah being late, those people react in a different way because it's the life that they know and the life that we live. And then for other people that are just maybe from out of town, you get kind of a great um, candy-coated spoonful of San Francisco in 90 minutes with kind of the whole San Francisco experience. It's a lot of fun. Maybe a dollhouse in the Excelsior near the train tracks beneath an underpass that's on fire. San Francisco Follies now playing at the Actors Theater at 855 Bush Street in San Francisco. Tickets can be purchased at sffollies.com or by calling our box office at 1-800-838-3006. There are tons of talented playwrights here in the Bay Area, and the BOA Festival is the place to check them out. I know I'm excited about seeing Ben Fisher's writing and Jessica Holt's directing in The Exchange. For more information about this festival that runs from now until March 8th, go to 3wisemonkeys.org. Until next week, I'm Katie Rice-Jones, and keep enjoying the sights and sounds inside City Limits.